Maladaptive daydreaming. What it is and what it isn't. What is it? There's a lot to be said about maladaptive daydreaming. Some people are born with this condition. There's no way to describe it. But I'll try. Think of a double life. You exist here, in the real world, but you also exist in an imaginary world. Just like the real world, the imaginary world has a family, drama, houses, education, foods, dancing, gambling, and every accommodation that the real world has to offer. The only difference is, the imaginary world does not exist, and you know it. But you still live in it against your will. The difference between maladaptive daydreaming and schizophrenia is that maladaptive daydreamers know that this is not real while schizophrenics do not know. The secondary difference is that the characters age and are controlled by you in the daydreaming, while schizophrenia cannot be controlled and the characters do not age. In both cases, the characters communicate and talk to you and in some cases they have free will. This is not adults with imaginary friends. Maladaptive daydreaming is totally different. This also walks a fine line between autism and narcissism. These daydreams often have you as the main character being admired, or rich, famous, highly honored, or the center of attention at all times. Constant admiration in one form or another. It plays like a movie where you are the leading star. In the waking world, this is narcissism. In the daydreaming world, this is maladaptive. Certain crazy people and her therapist believe that they hold the rights and are poster children to maladaptive daydreaming. These two people believe that what they say goes and they try to shut others down so they can control and rule the narrative. Those two people have no right to dictate to a world of individuals experiencing this because we are all different and we experience this phenomenon differently. I do have to give credit where credit is due. If the one person with the initial C a. R. Had not created Wild Minds Network, I never would have known there were others. Uncontrolled dreamers, creators, and imaginatives. She was able to shed light and bring people together who all thought that they were alone in this universe with this unexplained condition. Many people who have not experienced this often try to write about it from their limited perspective. Others discount this as, oh, they're just wanting attention or they're just overly creative. That is incorrect thinking. If you are a maladaptive daydreamer, then you know. If you've never experienced this, then you'll never know. The reason you'll never know is because it is ingrained in our fiber and being. We were born this way and there's nothing we can do about it. We are forced to live in a secondary world against our will that often clashes with the real world that we navigate through day to day. We cannot stop this. It's there when we go to sleep, wake up, eat, take a shower, get dressed, or whatever. If this cartoon resonates with you drop a note in the comments. Thanks.